have my friendly little bulldog and we're going to show what happens to the image in a concave mirror. Notice right now it is enlarged and not inverted. As I move it towards the focal point, it will enlarge and it will be at the maximum size at the focal point. Now, as you move towards the center of curvature, look what happens to the image. It will begin to get smaller and it will also be inverted. Okay? So there's Mr. Bulldog inverted and smaller, and as you go further away, it's going to get smaller. Now let's see this in reverse. It is inverted at the focal point. You will notice that the image is at its maximum. It is enlarged, okay? And then beyond the focal point, getting closer, it now is no longer inverted, and Mr. Bulldog sees a large image of himself. I think that's pretty cool. Concave mirror, it's because of the way the focal point is. Okay, let's take a look at an image in a convex mirror. They're able to show panoramic views. It's because of the way light is reflected and the focal point. Notice the headrest on the seat, and now let's compare that to a regular camera. I'm in my van and I happen to have two types of mirror. And here's the image in a regular van. And notice that the headrest, um, you're only seeing the headrest on the left. And now let's go back to the convex. And you will notice that you can see the headrest on the left plus uh, the other seats, a panoramic view convex regular mirror kind of cool